Hey, so do you ever make a quick video and then you save something wrong and it completely deletes it and you have to do it again? Yeah, that just happened. So this is take two of video, but I want to share a little bit, A, about my story and then a little bit about another part of coaching and that is the conversations that we have. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I'm Brandy and um, I signed up as a coach in the at the very tail end of November 2013. So yes, I'm working on my two-year uh, anniversary, which is crazy. And I was totally a discount coach. I uh, told Leslie that I wanted a discount and to maybe make a little bit of fun money. And I don't know what happened, but that obviously changed. Um, but you know, for me, I really realized that this is amazing. And um, I am definitely a person that has not built my business the fastest. I am definitely slow and steady. And I will tell you that how I have gotten to the point that I am in my business right now is 125% all about consistency. Um, I am proof of the three vital behaviors. And I am proof that I have done it nearly every single day. Um, working on Success Club 10 Legend. And... The reason for that is really all comes down to consistency and conversations. And I'm going to share just a little bit about that. So <clears throat> maybe you guys can relate to this. I am an amazing word vomiter. I pretty much have it mastered. And in the beginning, I was especially just exceptional at word vomiting. Um, I was so excited. I, I love this business. I just do. Um... Never thought I would. And I love Beachbody. I love the programs. Um, it's changed my life, period. It's given me everything. It's changed my health um, and, and obviously my fitness. I've been in the best shape of my life. And I am so passionate about helping people. Um, you know, I love helping women feel better about themselves. So, you know, when someone is interested, my first natural reaction is crazy excitement. You know, I'm just like, sweet. Let me tell you everything you've ever wanted to know all about this and just inundate you with all the information. That was me as a new coach, you know? Um, and I really, truly had to figure out a way to refine that. I mean, come on, let's be honest, right? When you stop and think about yourself on the other side of the conversation, if you message someone and said, hey, I'm really interested in this something, and they came back and said, here's this, here's this, here's this, right? What would you do? You would run. I would run. I don't want to be sold. I, I want people to treat me like a person, like someone that's really wanting to know something. And I really, as a coach, had to stop and slow my roll. I had to stop and really think about that person that was messaging me as a person. So what I did is when people would message me, in the beginning especially, and until I really felt like I had gained some traction and some confidence in my messaging, I'm not exaggerating, I would read their message and before I would respond, I would make myself stop. I would literally take a minute, pull up a script, look at it, look at what the person was asking, and respond in a totally different way than what my first natural reaction to be was. Because what happens, most people message us and they either say, how much is it? I'm interested, can you give me information? My first response was, well, I'm just gonna answer their question. That's what they asked me, so I'm gonna tell them all the information or I'm gonna tell them exactly how much it is and everything that's included in it. Well, that doesn't really connect. That just kind of gives them all this stuff and then typically it's quiet after that, right? So instead of responding like that, no matter what, I stopped and I want to connect with that person. So I would respond back now and say, hey, whatever, I am so glad you reached out to me. I can't wait to give you information. But I really want to know first, what has you interested? You must have goals you want to hit. Um, you know, I'm really interested in getting to know you and what you're looking for. That moment right there changes the direction of your conversation. Now you have a door opened to get to know them. And what I found is then people would come back 
and they'll tell me a little bit about their se themselves and we can have a chance to get to know each other. I can interject a little bit of my story and tell them. And then what happens is they may come back with something else. Um, you know, most everybody has reservations and we can talk. It opens that door for conversation. Now, I will tell you that in the beginning, especially, I was not a confident coach, and most people aren't. You gain confidence as you do things. That's just the reality of it. But what happened is I started to realize that being open and honest goes a heck of a lot further than not. Um, I'm stubborn by nature. Um, as a coach, you know, like, yes, I'm proof of the three vital behaviors, but I'm not someone that believed in myself. I just am not. I'm not one of those coaches that said, oh, I'm destined for this. You know, I always hear them say that, and I just think it, it it's awesome, but yeah, it's just not me. But what am I? I'm stubborn. That's it. I said I was going to do it, and I'm going to do it, and, and that's honestly been me as a coach, stubborn, but that also lends itself to be true when I'm talking with people because I know that this works. It's changed my life. And you know, people have natural reservations. And I found that just by being honest and not being afraid to tell them how I really feel goes so much further than you think it would. Of course, it's how you do it. Um, but you know, I will have people that will say, <clears throat> just like you, I can't afford Shakeology. I can't afford this you know what? I couldn't either. Um, I was the crazy person that started their fitness journey the day after Halloween. Um, I have two kids. We couldn't barely afford Christmas. I was putting half of Christmas on a credit card and I put my challenge pack on a credit card. We could not afford it. Um, when I signed up as a coach, I tithed 100% of my first month's earnings and I put my second month of Shakeology on a credit card because I didn't have the cash in our account to pay for it. I believed in this. Um, I wanted it. I wanted to feel better about myself. I was ready for change. And the truth is, <clears throat> if you build that value and you share with them and you show them how it's changed for you, they're going to see that value too. But it's also about connecting. So when I hear those words, my response is, Girl, I get it. That was me. I saved up all of my pet setting money for a side jobs that I had for a month to pay it back on my credit card because I was in such a place that I knew that I absolutely had to have this. And I'm going to tell you, this is the best investment that I have ever made in my entire life. I realize that sounds so cheesy, but I can't put a price on what that challenge pack has given me in my life. That's what I say to them. Because you know what? That's real. That's me. That's my story. And when they say, I think I'm going to go and do this, I'll say, I did that too. I understand. You know, I'm here. And, and we talk. That relationship that you build is really what this conversation is about. Do not be afraid to be honest, if you're connecting with people and you're showing glimmers of yourself and you're being human, they're going to trust you. Um, I truly feel like that has been such a game changer for me and my business is just being myself and being confident enough to share my story unapologetically and to just tell people my side. I mean, I couldn't afford it, people. You know, I, I didn't have the money. But this has been huge for me. So if you're a lot like me, that's my number one tip for you. Honestly, just be you and don't be afraid to address the concerns and talk to people and take a moment to really get to know them and to keep that conversation going just so you can open doors and build that relationship. Because this is really a relationship business at the heart of it. It absolutely is. And people can buy from any person but they're going to buy from you because they trust you.